Hello and welcome. You're watching The Mint and my name is Bon. Or <laughs> wrong time, wrong place for that rather popular line. But with that, I can take one thing off my bucket list to muster enough courage to say that on camera. That said, I'm Abhishek Singh and we're still talking about Bond. Not the spy kind, but the sort that's green. A sovereign green bond. India is about to issue 16,000 crores worth of sovereign green bonds soon in two tranches. Green bonds are financial instruments that generate proceeds for investment in environmentally sustainable and climate suitable projects. If that was too much gobbledygook, think of the economy as a large family. Now, one occasion when the entire family comes together is a family wedding. If you're thinking I'm going off the topic, hold on. Now, think of economic growth as the much sought after boisterous groom, who was used to living without much concern for consequences. All that is set to change now. Not in a hurry, but gradually, as it perhaps happens in a marriage. Now, who is economic growth being married off to? You ask. So, this is an arranged marriage to certain families, since that is the metaphor we are using for nations or economies, this may even seem like a forced one. Everybody wants, or should I say, needs economic growth to walk hand in hand or settle down with environmental sustainability. Do right. And green bonds is what's partly going to finance this marriage. But why has this marriage been arranged in the first place? Since the discovery of oil, and industrialization, economies have been doing whatever it took to grow as big and as quickly as possible. US and Europe took the lead. China followed soon after. All this growth that saw billions lifted out of poverty and nations prosper came at a cost. Fueled by fossils that produce harmful greenhouse gases, economic growth came at the cost of well-being of the overall environment. Climate change is the most serious global consequence of such growth. To encourage countries to fund green or environment-friendly projects, the first green bond was issued by World Bank and European Investment Bank with a AAA of very safe rating. According to climatebonds.net, green bonds are fast becoming a mainstream product, a vital contributor to climate finance and reaching Paris Accord objectives. India's first ever green bonds will focus on funding solar power projects, followed by wind and small hydro projects, as Asia's third largest economy attempts to tap the domestic debt market to finance clean projects. A Green Finance Working Committee, headed by the Chief Economic Advisor, V. Anantanageshwaran, will select public sector projects for green financing from those submitted by government departments, according to a press release by the Ministry of Finance. Now, who can buy green bonds? Green bond purchasers are typically institutional investors, often with either an ESG, that is Environment, Social and Governance Mandate, or an environmental focus. If you like this explainer, please like, share and subscribe. Those of you who'd like to know more about green bonds, you can watch a more comprehensive interview with author of the book, Indian Economy, Mr. Ramesh Singh. You can find the link to the interview in the description.